Hi. Now, in this video, what we've got here is this integral of 5e to the power minus 3x plus 7e to the power 5x, all divided by 3e to the power 2x. And we're integrating this with respect to x. So you might like to have a go at this if you haven't done so already. Just give you a few moments to pause the video. When you come back, either fast forward to check your solution or I'll take you slowly through that work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Don't forget, you can fast forward if you like, just to check your work solution against mine. So, how do we do a question like this? Well, first of all, I just want to give you a reminder that when it comes to integrating e to the power ax, where a is a constant, if you're integrating this with respect to x, then the result is 1 over a e to the ax plus the constant of integration. You should be familiar with this formula. You may well see it in your formula books, okay? But uh, do try and remember that. Okay, so what we need to do is try and reduce this integral then down to terms like this. So the first thing I'm going to do though is pull out this three in the denominator here. Pull it out and we'll have a third in front of the integral. That will make the integral look a little easier. And also you'll notice that e to the 2x, I've written now as e to the power minus 2x, okay, using the negative power rule. Okay, so we've got this. Now all I need to do is expand out the bracket. And if we expand out that bracket, then we're going to get 5e to the power minus 5x, just by adding those powers there on the e, okay? And then we've got 7e to the 3x, just by doing minus 2x added to the 5x, okay? So now I've got these terms, okay, these two terms in the bracket, and they're of this form here. So I should be able to integrate them then using this rule. If we do that, then you're going to get this. For 5e to the minus 5x, okay, 5e to the minus 5x over negative 5. All right, the a value here was the negative 5. So we've got 1 over negative 5, which I've just written in the denominator here, okay. Similarly, you can see the integral of 7e to the 3x when you compare it to the formula gives us 7e to the 3x over 3. Okay, and then I put that constant of integration in. Now you can cancel out the 5s here. Okay, uh, if you do that, you're going to get this result here. And you could argue that essentially this is the answer, but I don't really think that that's in a simplified form. So I'm going to take it further. What I'm going to do is switch these two terms around. I don't like a negative starting here, okay, in this bracket. So I'm going to switch those terms around and I'm also going to change this negative power, okay. We'll change it to 1 over e to the power 5x. So if we do that, this is what you're going to get, okay. You'll see I've switched the terms around and uh, use that negative power rule, okay? Right, well there you go, there's one answer, another version. Again, I still don't like this. I want to reduce the fractions down, so I'm gonna put this all over the lowest common multiple of three and e to the five x, which is gonna be three e to the power five x. So if I do that, then this is the result we get. You can see in my denominator, I've got 3e e to the power 5x. And then when I times top and bottom here by e to the power 5x, you can see that I get 7e e to the power 8x then, okay, over the 3e e to the 5x. This part will reduce down to 7 thirds e to the power 3x because you just end up subtracting those powers, okay? And for this one, 
I've got to times top and bottom of the fraction by 3 to give me the same value. So I get 3 over 3e e to the 5x there. OK, so hope you'll be able to see that one. OK, this still looks, I, in my opinion, better than any of these two, but it's still not finished. I can bring that 3 out, OK, as another third. A third times a third will be 1 ninth. I could leave the e to the 5x underneath here. I'm going to bring it all out the front and we get 1 over 9e e to the 5x times all of 7e e to the 8x minus 3 plus that constant of integration. OK, so hope you've been able to see your way through that. And if you got that answer or one of these other answers up here, well done. And uh, hopefully We'll see you in another video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, give us a like if you thought this was useful and you might want to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, bye for now.